A woman in Texas says her husband was denied treatment for COVID-19, was moved to hospice, then starved for six days after a doctor decided his quality of life did not merit care based on his pre-existing disabilities. That is this week's Speak Out segment. Melissa Hickson of Texas says her 46-year-old husband, Michael, died on June 11th, eight days after he was admitted to St. David's South Austin Medical Center with pneumonia. He had contracted the coronavirus from a staff member at a nursing home. Hickson had pre-existing disabilities. He had developed a brain injury and quadriplegia after suffering a sudden cardiac arrest in 2017. Melissa, his wife, says she recorded a conversation with a doctor who reportedly was explaining he did not want to administer a coronavirus treatment to her husband because he did not think it would improve Michael's quality of life. Let's take a listen. As of right now, his quality of life, he doesn't have much of one. So these because, are because he sold all of the brain He doesn't have quality of life. Correct. Michael had a court-appointed guardian family elder care while his wife and sister were engaged in a legal battle over who should be the permanent guardian. Family elder care made the decision to move Michael to hospice. According to his wife, while in hospice, Michael did not receive food or medical treatments and was instead given painkillers for six days until his death. The hospital strongly denies they did not believe Michael Hickson's life was not worth saving. They claim, quote, it wasn't medically possible to save him. Listen, there's a lot of details still coming to the light on this case, but I will say this. Your life is worth fiercely defending always. That's not contingent on your skin color. That's not contingent on your age. That's not contingent on whether or not you suffered cardiac arrest and now you're paralyzed and can't speak up for yourself. Your life even if it looks different than other people's expectations, is worth defending. To prioritize stronger patients over weaker ones is a sign of a sick society.